Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I just recently did a video of uh, Buster Posey checkpoints for his swing as an MLB player. And the reason I'm doing this video here is I want to show you the similarities and of the best players in the world, what the highest level players do. So I would suggest to you to go watch that video and compare it to this video. And the reason I'm doing this is because I see too many softball coaches out there that are literally trying to teach different kind of mechanics that you see in high level swings and softball players that you would see for example in a high level swing in the major league baseball and the way I teach you need to have certain angles and certain kind of mechanics in order to be very successful and I know from experience that the mechanics that I've taught to young men I've taught to the young ladies as well for the reason knowing that I know it produces results so I'm going to make this video for you as a checkpoint for your swing and later on if you would go watch the Buster Posey and you'll see almost identical mechanics being applied so let's get started here the first thing I'm going to show you here is uh, she's very well balanced okay and by that I mean you can see that she and this angle right here is not quite opposite batter side batter's box but you can see here that she's very well balanced her hands are very relaxed everything looks very well now the thing I look for here my first checkpoint is this at the gather right here you're going to notice here that her back knee is very very nicely firm in other words she's bracing up a back, uh, against a back leg very nice firm back leg where her back knee does not collapse over her foot okay and this is crucial for your own checkpoint to make sure your back knee is not collapsing over your back leg okay now the next thing I'm going to show you here is this as she starts into her weight transfer and her gather you're going to notice here that she gets away from that red line very very nicely see that and another thing that's occurring here and I want you to pay attention to is this okay you're going to notice here in her swing watch her shoulders you're going to notice how her shoulders are starting to close up even more in other words she's getting more torque and more separation as she gets to toe touch so at this point right here she's at toe touch and another thing I want to show you here which is great and this is for your own personal checkpoint do you have a very long base in other words are you getting a long stride the more the longer the weight transfer the longer the stride the more opportunity for the upper body to have more resistance and more coil the bat right here is hovering right behind her helmet about a 45 degree angle you're going to notice right here that she has that slight bent arm right here this is beautiful right here and again at toe touch you can see how, how closed her shoulders are okay this is beautiful right here so for your own swing a great checkpoint now as we get to heel plant right here you can see right here that she's getting to heel plant you can see the thing to look for in your swing you can notice here that she is still close to the pitcher the bat is still hovering right behind her helmet she's not casting the bat off and she just has a beautiful lower body initiation of the swing by that I mean that you can see here how her hips are starting to open up and again you can see here with her lead elbow right here she still has a slight bent arm which you want to maintain throughout the swing all the way slightly beyond the point of contact okay so very nice job here so far and another thing I want to show you here if you just pay attention to her back foot you can see already that she's starting to allow her lower body her lower body to release or her hips to release so her back foot does not get stuck okay very nice job right here so let's go now to the connection part so here we are at, uh, at toe touch and then we go to hill plant and connection right here you can see a connection what you want to do want to want to see in your own swing and again from this angle it's hard to tell but at this point her bat is hovering right over her deltoid area beautiful job right here and again for your own checkpoint do you have that slight bent arm continue to maintain that slight bent arm it's crucial again her lower body is being used very nicely starting to open up more very nice job here at connection now as we get to the point where we get to bat lag and bat lag right here is right here coming right here you're going to notice something here that still she has a beautiful bent arm this is crucial for your own swing okay and you can see here how the bat starting to lag right into the strike zone right here you can see how much her hips are starting to open up okay and at bat lag I want you to focus to her on her back foot right here notice what's going on with her back foot see how it's starting to release because her hips are rotating so well through the ball too many times at this point of the checkpoint I see players that are just stuck right here and that's as far as they go depriving themselves of power 
So again, at bat lag, you want to check that your back foot is being released, so allow your hips to square up. And you want to see the barrel below the hands and the elbow right there. One thing I want to show you here that's going on, which is crucial, okay, and this is something that I, I would suggest to you, and look at this for your own checkpoint. Notice where her elbow is right here, right now, okay? And okay, when you get to heel planning, you start getting to bat lag, now her elbow is right here. All right, you notice how it starts to work up. Now her elbow's right there. And as she gets further into bat leg, now her elbow's right here, okay? That is crucial for your own swing, okay? It's crucial that as you get to bat leg that your elbow starts working up immediately. So now as we get to the point of contact, another thing that I want you to use for your own personal checkpoint is this. You want to maintain, again, the elbow being bent. And you can see here, beautiful angles. Do you have this beautiful hitter spot? So when your own swing, when you're looking at it, at, when you look at your video at this point, do you have that look with your arms? Where, which I call this area right here the hitter's box. So see this right here? See if your, arm, your swing looks like that. It's the barrel below the hands. Do you have this beautiful release of the hips right here where your stripe, if you have a stripe in your pants where you have this going on and your back foot looks like this, okay? You don't want it to, your back foot to look like this. You want it to be back like that, okay? Look again. Watch the back foot. Watch what's going on with her back foot. See how she's releasing the hips, therefore the back foot gets released. Beautiful job right here. Check this out for your own swing. This is a very crucial part of a swing right here. Do you look like this in your swing? If not, or do you look close to this? If not, you need to make some adjustments. Now, after the point of contact, again, you can see here, she still has a slight bent arm, okay, because she's not, had not yet uh, uh, gotten to the point of full extension. And watch what's going on here. Even at this point of the swing, the ball's taken off. You can see here, her hands are right here, but yet the barrel's still below the hands. Is that occurring in your swing? Are you starting at this point in your swing already getting to one axis, meaning you're right here and you're not uh, broken up in your swing, okay? And a lot of times what I see at this point, you see your, the body bent and it's not in one straight line like this. Are you doing that? Is your, does your back foot look like this because your hips have released? Do you have your legs and your hips, everything squaring up, everything looking just like this? This is a very beautiful angles to have right here at this part of the swing. This is a good checkpoint for your own swing. Now again, I want you to focus on the back foot. Notice how her hips release, therefore her foot releases. Okay, very nice job. Now she gets to full extension. Do you have this beautiful look like this where the bat, everything is just beautifully extended out like this? If not, you need to let both arms extend beautifully. Now again, I want everyone to understand it's important to hit off of one axis when you're swinging. Are you swinging when your swing is like this? Are you rotating off a front axis? I hope this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Maximum bat speed.